this. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That is right. Spanish <laughs> ibex. When you book an ibex hunt with Iber Hunting in Spain, you get a second animal to harvest. It can be either a female ibex to help with conservation efforts or a European wild boar. So, Carter's dad, Ryan, was up next. And so for like three and a half hours, we've been looking for either a wild boar or a female ibex. We finally spotted one while we we're having lunch, just right here off the edge of the hill. And so we think we just got a really, really nice female ibex that were on the run. One, two, it's a good mature. Yeah, I'd say about eight. That's a good one. So had to hit her on the run. They spooked off the hill. About a hundred yard shot. Check that out. A little soft. Isn't that funny? Congratulations to Ryan and Carter Jackson on an awesome father-son adventure. Well, we're in Spain, Andalusia region. We're not far from the coast of the Mediterranean. We're going to be going on a red partridge hunt. buen tiempo sin accidentes y honor al Altísimo. En tu nombre de Jesús, te decimos gracias. Amen. Amen. You see the English setter right here? They make a breed called the Llewellyn setter that looks just like that. That may be a Llewellyn for all I know. And I had uh, two dogs growing up. It was Jake and Sam. Old Jake would work right in front of me like this in a zigzag, and Sam would work the edge of the field in a square. If they were there, we'd find them. Look at that. Woo. That's awesome. This is my very first one. This one has a coloration similar to a Bob White, whereas the hen quail has more tan in this area. I love these feathers. These are great for fly fishing. Woo! This is fun. My eha is here to fit. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. I think he and Dathan both hit that one. That one uh, is probably going to be a little harder to cook uh, unless you want to make like um, soup out of it. <laughs> Hunting birds, just remember, if your gun is pointed in the direction of a person or even close, you just don't shoot. Same with dogs. You gotta be careful of these flush dogs because they're trained to jump in there and flush that bird, and a lot of times they'll jump. And if, the, if it's a low flying bird, then you have to give it enough time to get up high. So even if the dog jumps, you don't shoot it in the back of the head. A lot of bird dogs have been killed or, or wounded because the hunter accidentally shoots them when they jump like that. Did I miss that bird? Because I wanted Carter to shoot it. Watch this, Carter. Look at that guy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the red legged partridge is a game bird in the pheasant family. The natural range of the red legged partridge is France, Spain, and Portugal. However, it was introduced from France to Great Britain in the 18th century and has since become an important game bird there. As it is a Mediterranean species, it thrives in hot, dry areas with sandy soil. When disturbed, it prefers to run rather than fly, but if necessary, it flies a short distance on rounded wings. The Spanish people loved to hunt the red-legged partridge during the early spring months during breeding season. The hunters enter a draw system for approximately 300 blinds throughout the national forest regions of Spain. If they draw a blind for a day, which is usually a small rock enclosure or barrel-shaped hiding spot, they then place a tame caged partridge hen about 20 yards from their blind and she calls in the males. She serves as a live decoy to attract the males. For me, I like covering some territory, hunting with the dogs 
hanging out with my videographer daughter, Kristen, and getting to experience the hunt with my friends Dathan, Ed, Ryan, Carter, Don, and his wife, Linda, who came along as an observer. If you want to come and enjoy something like this, you can do red partridge hunting, you can hunt ibex, red stag, boar. What am I missing? Anything else? Ooh. Every other animal in Europe is in Spain. <laughs> is it really? Almost. Wow. See, he would know. He's a walking encyclopedia. But all you got to do is check out iberhunting.com. They are a fantastic hunting organization um, led by Antonio and Mercedes. Just give them a call. They're, they're, they're so accommodating. And speaking of accommodations, the food I'm is great. The little village the and the food, food is, is amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Oh my so goodness, good. it is so much fun. I've got it. Yeah, so we highly recommend that you contact uh, iberhunting.com and come to uh, Bacardes and stay in the village and enjoy the uh, culinary arts and some awesome hunting. So again, check them out, iberhunting.com.